Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the midline theorem. So without further ado, let's do this topic. For the midline theorem, guys, background lang. A midline is this line, wherein this one is considered as midline if this line joins the midpoint of this side AC and side AB. So meaning, guys, if this is a midpoint, and this is also a midpoint. And kapag kinonect natin sila, automatic, this is a midline. And then, we can consider this as a midline if this one is cut into two equal parts. Meaning, this AD is equal to this DC. And this segment AE is congruent or equal with segment EB. And yung pinaka-ibig sabihin ng theorem natin, guys, if this is a midline, automatically, this midline is parallel to the third side of the triangle. And basically, pag sinolob natin yung length ng midline, your midline, which is DE, is equal to one half of the third side, which is BC. So let us use this concept to find and solve the problems here in our today's video. So we have here two problems. Siyempre, basically, this one focuses on the midline theorem. Given here, triangle ABC, the midline is DE. Now, we are asked here to find X and number 2, find the length of DE. So what we need to do to solve for the X is that we need to create first an equation wherein in our theorem since this one is a midline your midline DE is equal to half of your segment BC or side BC now for us to solve for X let us substitute the value of DE which is 3X minus 5 x minus 5 is equal to 1 half, which is our BC, that is 56. Now, we will multiply 1 half by 56, and that is equal to what? How many? 28. And what we have here is 3x minus 5. Solve for x, transpose negative 5 to the other side, it will become 3x is equal to 28 plus 5. It will become 3x is equal to 33. And as you can see, let's move this paper upward. Divide both sides by 3. Divide by 3. Your x is equal to 33 over 3, which is 11. This is now the value of x. And that is the answer here. X is equal to 11. Now, we are asked for the length of DE. Basically, we can easily tell what is DE. Kasi sabi, di ba, di ba sabi sa atin dito, uh, 1 half BC. So, ngayon mo lang, same formula. DE is equal to 1 half BC. Your BC is 56. So, gawin mo dito, DE is equal to 1 half times 56. And obviously, divide mo lang by, t by, ano to, by 3. Ay, by 2. So, your DE is equal to 28. This is the length of your DE. Remember, ha? Sa theorem natin, the length of this midline is half of the length of the third side of the triangle. Now, let's proceed with item number Two. Given triangle RSC, RSC, the midline is DE. So, we na natin itong DE. This is DE. We are asked here to find X and find the length of the third side. So, sir, paano po yan? Gawin natin yung natin working equation. Our working equation would be the midline, which is DE, is equal to one-half your third side, which is 
CS. Now, let us use the values. Your DE7 is equal to 1 half times your CS, which is 8 plus 3X. Now, instead of multiplying 8 by 3X by 1 half, mag-multiply lang tayo ng, ng 2, both sides, para ma-eliminate natin yung denominator. Times 2, times 2. So, 2 times 7 is equal to 14. And here, when we multiply 2 out from outside, going here, ma-eliminate natin yung 2 and 2. So, what we have here is 8 plus 3x. Then, as you can see, manipulate lang natin yung equation. Transpose 8 to the other side. So, it will become 14 minus 6 is equal to 3x. 14 minus 6, oh sorry, transpose 8, it will become minus 8. 14 minus 8 is 6 is equal to 3x. Solve for x, divide both sides by 3, divide by 3, cancel, cancel. Your x is equal to, let's move this paper first, is equal to 6 divided by 3, which is equal to 2. This is now the value of x x is equal to 2. Now, what about the length of CS? Basically, malalaman na natin yung CS natin eh. Diba? Yung length ng, D, ng DE natin is just half of the CS. So, to get the CS, multiply it by 2. Pero, gamitin natin natin yung formula na ito. DE is equal to 1 half times CS. DE natin is 7. Is equal to 1 half CS. Multiply both sides by 2. By 2. 2 times 7 is 14. Maka cancel to, maka cancel to. What we have here on the right side is only CS. Meaning, the length of CS here is 14 centimeters. So I hope guys you learned something from this video about the concept of the midline and midline theorem. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!